hello, hello everybody, welcome to the channel, my name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Today we have a whipping chat. Ooh, if you do not know what a whipping chat is, that is when I work on my current whip, WIP, which is work in progress, and you can pull out whatever it is that you are working on, and a work work alongside with me so with this you can work on another craft project you can work on a house project um you can be driving at work recovering from work um whatever it is that you want to be doing there is no right way or wrong way to whip and chat i am currently working on uh what's her name Callie girl from hannah lynn uh this is from oraloa i will go ahead and leave the unboxing for this one up in the eye if you are interested so if you are new here hi welcome my name is Lindsay, and i do mainly diamond painting content i also do other crafting related content as well i hope that you enjoy what you hear see uh all that fun stuff make sure you guys like hit the bell subscribe all that fun stuff and uh come hang out hop aboard the hot mess express Let's be friends. And if you've been here before, hi, welcome. Thanks for coming back. So, in real time, when I'm filming this, yesterday was Christmas. So, I hope that everybody who celebrated had a wonderful Christmas holiday. And um, if you didn't, well, I hope you had a super fun Saturday. So, uh, you will see me rotating through, like, a crap ton of pens. If you ever have any specific questions on what I'm using, just let me know down below. I don't ever leave in the description which pens I'm using because I usually, like, I no lie, have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on my desk right now. And that's probably not even all. Um, I am recording this. My child is still very much awake. So um, if you hear her singing the song of her people, that is what that is all about. So let's get into it. I hope that you guys had a wonderful week. We had a busy week. I think most people on the planet had a busy week. Um, I feel like even if you don't celebrate Christmas, this time of year is always like chaos because it's always like when you need something and the store is closed or, you know, things like that. So, um, Sunday we have a new family tradition. We get McDonald's breakfast, which is just fine and uh my daughter recently so the first time we got a mcdonald's breakfast we got it we were struggling with she really just wasn't eating breakfast and my husband ordered her uh, a sausage breakfast sandwich and he's like look it's a breakfast burger and she's like oh my god which is really funny because subsequently today we ended up we ended up at Wendy's, which I don't eat hamburgers and I don't like chicken. So that was like the worst choice for me. But and I'll probably touch base on this if I had time to. We were going to go to Taco Bell because Taco Bell has like everything for everybody on your list. And um, Wendy's has square hamburger patties. So she totally thought it was. She kept saying, is this a sausage? And we're like, no. And she's like, what is this? And I'm like, it's a burger. She's like, it's not a burger. Yes, it is. So, um, but anyway, she, we, uh, you ever just get your multi blazer just like just so and it's not in the right place and every single one of your drills is off? Or is that just me? Um, but anyway, we took her to, or we picked, my husband places an order and he picks up the McDonald's. She likes it because she gets a cup of orange juice. Um, I like it because I get a hot, fresh cup of coffee that I didn't have to make. Um, I, I just usually get like an egg and cheese biscuit. I don't get anything fancy. Um, and then I'm not even sure what he gets. He tried something different this week and he was like, nope, not doing that again. Um, but we took her, there was an ice show scheduled for the rink where she takes her lessons. So I had seen their Instagram posting something. That said, you know, thanks to everybody who performed in our show last night. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, uh, is the Sunday show not happening? And they immediately erased my comment and sent me a DM with a very, like, accusatory tone. Who told you about this? Why are you asking about it? What do you want to, what do you need to know? And I'm like, Jesus. Um, I just want to know if the Sunday ice show is still happening because I wanted to take my kid. And I didn't tell them that because I was like, 
they're digging for something and I'm not going to give them what they want. Because if they want something specific and they want to say, did X, Y, and Z tell you, then I'll wait for them to say that. I'm not going to throw somebody under the bus. Um, and then they tried telling me that they weren't responsible for the ice show, that the people who ran it, just rent the ice rink and that it's their responsibility and instead of offering to help me in any way shape or form that was the end of the conversation I was so needless to say I was a little bit annoyed um so we looked it up it was a local figure skating club whose home address by the way is the rink that my daughter skates at um they were of no help to me so my husband reached out to them and they were like oh if and they named our coach. If she's the one who invited you, you guys are absolutely welcome to be here. Um, please come and enjoy the show. And that's exactly who invited us. Um, and it just really bothered me because I was like, this rink is willing to take my money for lessons, but they're jumping down my throat at something that is on their public calendar, first of all. And then second of all, like, it's an ice show. I, I, it's not like I'm... Um, crashing a private lesson uh so of course when we got there they immediately were like oh are you here for the ice show and we're like yeah and they're like oh come on in take a seat blah 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 um and the person on the instagram they made a comment to me about oh was it your tuesday tots instructor i never said who i was i never said what lesson my kid was in i never said what day we come i didn't say any of that stuff and they tried telling me, well, I'm just an employee. I don't have the authority to share this information with you, which leads me to believe it was really the owners. And I'm very frustrated with how it was dealt with because if you don't want me to go, just say you don't want me to go. Don't tell me that I'm more than welcome to come and then pull something like that. Um, if you guys are looking at this like in person, I do not like how this part of her lip is rendered as the color of her skin. So I will be changing that just... Total side note. Um, and then we went to the ice show. And Briar was on some pretty piss poor behavior, which, let me tell you, was fantastic after the morning and afternoon that I had dealing with the skating rink. Um, it just really bothers me. Because, like, it was on their public calendar. So anybody could have pulled that up. And I was like, if I can't come, then just tell me I can't come. There is so much trash in this kit, you guys. Um, I think this is a lot of trash. You might not, but... Um, I mean, I've seen people who have, like, whole trays full of trash. But I have a lot of these that are dimpled on the top and the bottom. Um, like, very Swiss cheesy looking. But, um, yeah, so anyway, we went to the ice show. And the way they did it was they had a couple skaters have five minutes to do their warm-up they were all out on the ice at the same time so it was usually like four five six skaters on the ice and then they did their warm-up and then when that was done they all came off the ice and then they performed in order well this one little girl is practicing she's skating by and my daughter starts banging on the glass and i'm like oh my god briar you can't do that why not i'm like briar that's very startling you don't want to do something that's going to make somebody fall or you know anything like she and she didn't understand and I was like cool uh, and then all she wanted to do was run up and down the stairs and their stairs are like concrete stairs and there's a railing on the very very end and that's it and she was leaning over it was just any way that she could get away with not listening that's what was going on um and so it was super frustrating and it was the time of day that's like her nap time but this kid does not sleep um she sleeps at night but man does like sh this is a child who needs a nap but refuses a nap if you've ever met anyone like that you know exactly where i'm going with this because like they are just a mess they're a disaster and they don't even realize it and you're like but i realize it go to sleep <laughs> and um in the four years that i've had a child she's never once just been like oh you want me to go to sleep i'll go to sleep now like that's not how it works so um it was just, it was hard. It was one of those rough days. And then she saw her coach as soon as it was over. And she was so excited to see her. And, um, you know, of course, we've signed her up for the next set of lessons as well. But it just, 
in all honesty, it makes me question whether, like, this is the rink for me. If that's how they're going to behave on a a show that I was invited to by our coach. And that was the kind of response that I got. Like I said, if, if I wasn't welcome, then you are more than willing to just... You, you should have just said, I'm so sorry. You know, this is only for paying members of the figure skating club and their family. Or whatever it may be. Um, let me shift you guys down a little bit. Which, I don't know. Yeah, I'm still totally in frame. I did a whip and chat the one day, and I didn't realize until I edited it, edit, edited it, until I played it back to edit it, and um, realized I was out of frame for like 90% of the video. But I figure most people probably aren't actually watching, they're just listening, so um, for the crew that is watching, hey, hey, um, anywho, so after that we went to dinner, there was a, was it Outback? One of those more budget-friendly... Yeah, I think it was Outback. And we went, and she was still just not listening. Piss-poor behavior. It was just... It was... At that time, she was just exhausted, and the day should have been over, and um, it was one of those things that we had to make the call as parents. Like, do we go and have dinner now and hope that it gets better, or do we make the drive back home, spend the time making dinner, and then realize it's already pretty late in the day and it's just not going to get better? So we opted to just go get dinner. My husband had let her watch, I want to say it's called The New Adventures of Spidey or The Adventures of Spidey and His Friends. It's like a little kid version of Spider-Man. And um, we did that. Well, she did that. And then proceeded to throw herself on the floor at the restaurant. Um, in case anyone is curious, this is the Beast Tray from Nix's shop. I will, if I can remember, um, leave this down below. But this is what I've been using for my big 310 tray. It has a sliding lid. And then you just put your stopper back in. But you have to put it in the right way or it doesn't... Hold it in place. I mean, it tells you. There's whole instructions for this. And, um, there we go. So, it's like, let me, uh, do that on top of my canvas and it'll open up knowing my luck. Um, so anyway, she threw herself on the floor and that was super fun. Super fun. Um, and I was like, Briar, get up. And she's like, I'm Spider-Man. I'm a spider. And I'm like, well, we're not going to be watching this show again because... This is not the kind of behavior that I want to be dealing with while I'm out in public. And we ended up having to, my husband, okay. You ever know, like, ever notice, like, when it rains, it pours? <laughs> like, literally everything that could go wrong while we were there was going wrong. I ordered my dinner, and I had cream spinach as one of my sides, which, side note, if you've ever made cream spinach, like, it's incredible how much spinach you need and then how much you end up with at the end. You'll use, like, bags worth of spinach and you'll get, like, you know, a half dollar size or whatever. Anyway, so, um, my cream spinach came out and it was ice cold. And so Brian is dealing with her and he's, like, he's done at this point because I'm waiting for them to... I thought they were just going to reheat it. And they're like, oh, let's make you a new one. They definitely didn't make me a new one, by the way. They just reheated it. But they forgot about me. And it sat there, not even exaggerating, a good 20 minutes. And I was like, come on. Like, can you just put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and bring it? Like, I didn't care at that point. I was just, like, ready to go. And so Brian took the baby, and she wasn't eating anything. And then, of course, they get to the car, and now she's like, I'm ready to eat. And he's like, are you? You're in the car seat now. Like, you're, you're done. Um, which, of course, as soon as we got home which was much later than we had, had anticipated. Of course she ate the leftover. <sighs> um, it was mac and cheese. Sorry, I was thinking. So uh, this canvas, I'm hoping that I can get these all. I'm doing it kind of off camera. There's so much static in these drills, especially in this color, which is the skin tone. I have like four pieces of dryer sheet in this container in the container with the bag like with the the ziploc baggie it came in 
it's unbelievable. Like you can see they're they're sticking to the lid, they're sticking to the sides. It does not matter. It's just you guys see that? It's very frustrating. Um which one which color do I want next? Um I'm intrigued how they're doing this. I'm hoping that it has good gradient and not just like blatantly obvious that we're going from one color to the next. But um yeah, that was just a really exhausting day. And then Monday, which was the next day, that bad attitude just kept on coming. I don't know if there was something in the air or what. Um, oddly enough, one of our neighbors posted something. We have a Facebook group for our development. And he was like, if anybody has any limes, um, I really want to make myself a mule. These kids, I'm not going to say they're driving me nuts. And I was like, I'll tell you, mine's driving me nuts. And like four other people were like, yeah, mine's driving me particularly insane. I think it was a full moon, somebody said, but it was just, you just have that stretch where it's like someone around you just has a terrible attitude and you don't know why you can't make it better. And you're just like, all right, listen, we need to move past this because I can't handle it. I can't handle it anymore. It's exhausting. I'm tired. You're annoying me. <laughs> Life. So that's kind of where we were at. So, um, what else do we do? We uh, ended up having to do another post office run. My husband had gotten all of his holiday orders out by December 1st. But he still has things up for sale on his Etsy. And he still has things up for sale on eBay. And it seems like every time he makes a good post office run, he ends up coming home and then selling something else. And um, we don't do scheduled pickups because our postal employee that like delivers to our house... He's just, like, he's like the honey badger. He just doesn't give a shit. And, uh, the guys that work in the post office are fantastic. And so my husband goes in there and, um, you know, they're always asking him, Oh, what'd you sell today? And, oh, how's your business doing? And, you know, fun, fun conversations. Not like, hey, man, I just dumped 15 packages on your front step and I probably kicked one or two of them. Like, ugh. And I'm I'm totally serious about that, by the way. He literally just, like, dumps them, like, ding-dong ditch, and runs. And I'm like, well, this is why we're not going to do porch pickup. Which is a free service, in case anyone's curious, for USPS. Um, and then she just wasn't listening. And I was like, you know what? Daddy can go to the post office by himself. And he had a talk with her and she's like, no, I want to go. And I'm like, okay, cool. So you're just not going to listen to anything that I, that I say ever child. Um, and we ended up going and then she freaked out because she wanted to go in the post office, which wasn't going to happen. Um, and it's just like, oh man, it's been a rough week. It's been full of attitude from like everyone. And then her shitty attitude rubs off on me, you know, Yay, parenthood. Uh, but yeah, we did that. And then we picked up some pizza, I think. Is that right? Yeah, we picked up some pizza on the way home. And then she played with her Play-Doh for a very long time. And then it was funny. My husband made these Mediterranean pita something or others. And she's like, these tacos are really good, daddy. And she was just chowing down. I'm pretty sure we're going through a growth spurt. So, um, does anybody have, is there any kind of scientific correlation between being a total butthole and going through a growth spurt? Because maybe that's what it is. Um, we're also really in that phase right now where, like, if she gets hurt, and I don't mean, like, injured herself. Like, oh, I pinched a toy on my palm. I have to have a band-aid. You know, like, that's that was the thing today. And, um... She's now realizing, because we've been at my parents' house and his brother's house, and um, that not everybody has, like, fun band-aids. And so she started crying. She's like, I want the fancy band-aids. And I was like, girlfriend, that's not how this works. But, um, yeah, so Tuesday, we took my mother-in-law to, uh, it's a place near us. It's like an indoor play place. And if you guys hear the dulcet tones of my husband walking in the room, say, hi, husband. Hello. I guess those aren't really dulcet tones. Those are just probably frustrated tones. Um, but we took her to the play place. And she had never been. And we were excited to take her. We were hoping that our kiddo would, 
you know, be on pretty good behavior, which she was. Uh, she was very excited to be there with my mother-in-law. And I've talked about this before. Like, Briar with adults is the life of the party. She wants everyone to pay attention to her. She wants everybody to stop, look, and listen. Um, Briar around kids is a total pushover. Never says no or, like, that's my toy or... Whatever. And so she was playing with... She immediately went... This should be no surprise to anyone if you've been here long enough. Immediately went over to where it was like the toy vet clinic. So she grabbed the uh, cat carrier, a stuffed cat, a stuffed dog, and I think it was a stuffed unicorn. And toted those <laughs> around. And then they have this indoor... The whole thing's indoor. They have this uh, like tube slide area. And that's where she went over. And I let her know like, look kiddo, you can't take this on the slide with you and um she put the toy down and this bigger kid came rightfully so and took it and she got upset and I explained to her like look kiddo you aren't playing with it at the moment you're playing with the slide subsequently that was the last time she went on the slide for the rest of the day because she didn't want to like not have her eyes on it the whole time but then another little boy, somehow it got passed to him, and she walked up to him when we were off the slide, and she immediately took it out of his hands, and I was like, absolutely not. I said, he was playing with it, you can wait your turn, you know, and she was very upset because she wanted the toy, and my mother-in-law just kept saying over and over and over again, I've never seen her behave like this, and I'm like, you have literally never seen her interact with another child. Yeah, but I've never seen her act like this, and I'm like, again, I don't know how many times I can tell you this. You've never seen her interact with another child. It's it's different. Briar with kids is different than Briar with adults. She has spent the majority of her life around adults. Um, and when she was around kids, she was much littler and didn't have the same kind of, like, brain that she has now. Um, so it was, you know, I had a little conversation with her and she begrudgingly gave the little boy the toy back. And then his mother, when he was done, came over and brought it back over. And, of course, Briar was like, oh, my God, this is the best day ever. And when we went to leave, which was very sweet, she went over to a little kid. I don't even think it was the same kid or not. But she went over to him and she handed him the toy. And it was funny because the one little boy was kind of like, why is she giving me this? But um, it was very sweet because she understood what we were trying to say. And acted on it so this is the first time like I said we have taken my mother-in-law there my husband and I really like it there um and my daughter has a three-month pass right now um and oddly enough next week we're going twice uh, we're going for a happy new year's party date thing whatever and then a little play date with one of her friends um so that'll be really nice but there is a Five Below right next door, so we went over to Five Below. My mother-in-law has never been to a Five Below, which, if you've never been to a Five Below, they're, like, really nice dollar stores. Everything in there is between $1 and $5, um, except for they have, like, a Beyond section, and they have, like, little Bluetooth speakers for $8, or this for $10, but that doesn't bother me that they still call it Five Below, even though that's more than $5, um... It's just literally just like one tiny section. Just making sure my colors are good here. Yeah, I'm hoping that this looks good from a distance. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in color here. It looks much more apparent in person. Like, this looks much more vibrant. <gasps> I caught it. All right. Oh, my God. My heart is racing right now. Because I definitely just thought I spilled all my drills on the floor. So, let's take a sip and recover here. Um, so anyway, we went over to the five below and I let her know you're allowed to pick one thing. I knew my kid wasn't going to be like, I need this $8 item. And if she wanted an $8 item, you know, whatever, that's not going to make or break the bank. The difference between $3 here. So she was walking around and she's very methodical when she knows she's allowed to make a purchase. She wants to make sure it's going to be the thing that she really wants. So sometimes she'll carry something or, or say daddy can we can we hold on to this and then if she sees something else she'll be like okay daddy I don't want this anymore but she picked this little plastic horse 
And I don't know if it's supposed to be, like, the horse from something. Like, I don't know if it's, like, spirited away. I think that's a horse, right? Or spirit away or something spirit. Um, I have no idea if it's supposed to be that or what. But she picked it, and my mother-in-law was, you know, walking up and down, and she's like, this place is amazing. I'm like, it is amazing. I don't know if they still have it, but I used to get the lava lamps there when I was younger. They used to cap them, though. You could only get a certain amount, because people were buying a crap ton of them, which, I mean, for a $5 lava lamp, I'm not surprised. But, um, we did that, and then we walked over to Five Guys. As my husband called it, it was the Day of Fives. Um, and it was so sweet. My mother-in-law used this strawberry scented hand sanitizer <laughs> so that my daughter said to us mommy daddy i named my horsey can you guys go know where we're going with this i said oh yeah what'd you name it she's like strawberry and my mother-in-law's like oh that's beautiful it, it took her a minute but then she realized exactly why it was named strawberry um but it was cute it was it was a lovely a lovely day especially after two pretty difficult days in a row you know but we did that and then um it just was it was just a really nice day briar enjoyed herself my mother-in-law enjoyed herself my husband and i enjoyed ourselves um i i would recommend days like that 10 out of 10 let's do them again um let's see it's crazy how like this is all color blocking here, but then if you, which I know you guys can't see it, there's so many different symbols that just line, like, the shading of her face and her hair, and it's a lot. It's a lot of confetti. This is, like, unnecessary kind of confetti to me. Um, I don't feel like it's really contributing or adding to the photo. It's just, like... Oh, you want seven shades of gray here? Let's put seven shades in. Oh, wait, wait, let's put nine in. Let me add another one. It's like, oh my god. And I have an up arrow and a sideways arrow, so I'm making sure I'm not putting the wrong one. This is sideways, sideways, sideways. All right, I think, I think we got it. And then I'll move on to the next color. So Wednesday, um, I decided. You know, we had had, we had had a really nice day the day before, followed by some not-so-great days prior to that. So I said, you know what? I'm going to try to do something, like, really special with her. And he's like, okay, whatever you want to do. Go, excuse me, do what you want to do. Now, earlier in the week, I had looked up this place. I had contacted this place, and they were closed. So uh, it was one of those things that, like, I found these new things to do with her, or fun things to do with her, I should say. And just nothing was going my way in terms of planning. And <coughs> I need the letter K. Um, are you guys the kind of people that pull out, like, a bunch of colors all at once? Or do you just pull out, like, one color at a time, put it away, grab another color? Because I am definitely over here grabbing, like, a ton of colors. A ton of colors. All right, let's start there. So, anyway, what is this place? You're probably wondering. Well, I took Briar to Afternoon High Tea. It's this little, quaint little place. It was super, super sweet. And when I went, um, I called them that morning and they got me a reservation for that day. We were the only people in the whole place. Uh, by the time we left, there were two other families but they had a whole rack of fascinators and little tea hats and all sorts of really, really cute stuff. And I was like, all right, this is it. Let's do this. Um, and I will throw up a picture here of my daughter and I. And this was our little three-tiered uh, rack shelf. I don't know what the, the right word is in my head. But um, you guys, she had so much fun they had a couple options of caffeine free if you guys don't know my kid is four years old so i wasn't obviously wasn't going to pick something that was laced with a ton of caffeine because well that's not probably the smartest parenting move and she picked it was like a, a island mango tea 
And our waiter, shout out to you. I have no idea what his name is. I gave him a fantastic review on Google. Um, super, super helpful. Like, explained every single thing that we were getting, ordering, what was on the table. And he brings out this... There's three plates, three different tiers, and the tea. And so they have these timers. Now listen, I apparently have done like a real high tea with my grandmother when I was younger. I don't remember the specifics of it because I was a child and I think I was a teenager, to be honest with you. But I wasn't buying it. I was just like, okay, sure, I'll be here for the the thing. Um, <coughs> here, I have to make sure I'm making the right decisions for my child and myself. And we did the whole big three-tiered, because um, they've got like a, a two-tiered one. And anyway, so we did it, and um, they had these, like the sand timers. And he's like, well, then when this one hits, there was a three-minute, five-minute, seven minutes. And I think the five-minute was the one in the middle, and that's how long it would take for the, the tea to properly steep. Um, and then he asked, you know, would you want the chip cup and it was chip from beauty and the beast and i was like is that less breakable and he's like yes and i was like then yes please brought out this teacup of chip from beauty and the beast which if you don't remember who that is it's the little teacup that has a little chip on it and it's mrs. Potts's son yes yeah, so i was okay, just gonna was say it's sure mrs potts's son or just a piece of yep which if you think about it like the logistics of it angela lansbury was old when that movie came out like, did she really have an infant like, or like a toddler or was it just supposed to be like, well, we're not really aged differently, but he was, it was a real person that they turned into a teapot. Oh yeah. That's so, um, if anybody has the answer to that, let me know down below. <laughs> Maybe it was their grandson. I don't know. Anyway, sidetrack. So they brought it out. So we had finger sandwiches. We had, um, there was a turkey and cranberry, which I thought was delicious. She did the ham and apricot. I don't, I don't like ham. That's one cut of pork I really don't like. Um, and then there was a cucumber sandwich, which she dug. There was a pimento cheese one, which she at first was like, nah, I don't think so. And I was like, just give it a bite. I know you're going to like this. You've eaten pimento cheese. And then she was like, that was really good. Um, so we had a bunch of these little tea sandwiches and then the middle level was a scone. It was a chocolate chip one, and I was surprised that she really wasn't into it. However, she discovered she really liked the jam, because it came with jam and uh, lemon curd and clotted cream, and she just, she really enjoyed it. And then the top level was, like, the pastries. So you had, there was a pistachio um, mackerel, and then there was... Um, a bunch of other stuff. I don't even remember what was up there. And girlfriend was like going to town. I was like, hey, I love you. But do you think you can share that cannoli with mommy? And she's like, what cannoli? And I'm like, the cannoli in your hands. What cannoli in my hands? The one that you're eating in my mouth? Yes, Brian. <laughs> the one you're eating in your mouth. And, <laughs> you know, but it was it was a hoot. And she really, she really enjoyed herself. Um, and my husband stayed behind and was actually oh my god you guys <laughs> almost just dropped this one too uh my husband was going to treat himself to go see the new spider-man movie absolutely no spoilers allowed down in the description um or in the comments or whatever you call it but by the time he was like okay let me double check the movie times the movie had already started and he didn't want to like no, have us come home me. and then him be there and then you know, now it's dinner time and he's still in the movies, so uh, he's going to try to plan it out for this week, I think. I know one of his buddies says he wanted to go with him. Um, but either way, so then Briar and I went to the yarn store. So she, the yarn store, we went to Michael's. She really, really, really wants to crochet. If you guys have been around for a little bit, like I only recently started crocheting. Um, and I feel like... I have all these ideas of what I want to learn how to do in my head, but I'm just like, you got to finish the project you're working on. And it's so repetitive because I'm making a sweater. Don't get me wrong. The pattern is really cute, but I'm literally just doing the same thing over and over and over again. I am doing a row of however many double crochet and it's this size by this size. 
over and over and over again because they're all going to be sewn together to make a patchwork sweater. Great, cool. But I'm tired of doing the same thing over and over and over again. And um, so we'll see. But she really wants to learn. And I'm like, look, I don't know. I don't know how to teach you how to do this. I just grabbed the color that I was already working on instead of the one I want. Here we go. So I am, I have no idea how to teach her how to crochet. I barely know how to crochet and she really wants to do it. So I let her pick out for anybody who is like not into yarn at all. I just let her pick out a chunkier, soft, fuzzy yarn. Um, and I'm going to try to teach her how to make a chain. I don't care how big or small the chain is. She can make a chain a thousand times. A chain is the foundation for pretty much everything that you're going to do. So it's obviously a good skill to learn, but it doesn't require any stitches. Um, all right. I just saw you. There you go. I missed a drill of the color I just put away. So she picked that out. I let her pick it out. That was like the big thing. I was like, you can pick out whatever yarn you want. I kind of pointed her in the right direction of what would work for what we were doing. Um, and then she goes up to this lady and she's like, I'm going to make a chain. And the woman's like, oh, that's very important. And then she's like, my mommy's going to make, my mommy and I are going to make a cat with this. No, no, we're not. <laughs> we are certainly not making a cat with this friend. Um, but you know, the imagination, uh, here we go. This is the fun time of now we're in confetti. We're like, I have barely any, whatever. I'm going to just keep going, trying. Do I want to put any special drills in her lips? I feel like I might want to. Definitely where this here is lighter, because that's the skin tone. Um, I'm changing that. I think I said that already. Did I say that? Maybe I did. I don't think I'm the villain. Anyway, so where are we? Um, and then we... After her nap, we ended up going to Mission Barbecue and Target. We needed to get a couple things for his niece and nephew for Christmas and um, like a couple things for ourselves. And I was on the hunt. If you guys see this near you in your Target and you like peppermint mocha, grab yourself the peppermint mocha trail mix that they have because you guys, it is un believable and we went up and down every aisle looking for it and miraculously my husband found another end cap and it was there one one single container of this like six different end caps i saw them yeah it was the only one that had it um according to their website they had none in stock so i was really glad that he found that it's so good you guys uh and i don't know because now that christmas is over like i don't think they're going to be restocking those and it's expensive, but it's a big container. Like, I, I'm not going to lie. It's much, much larger than I anticipated it being. Oh, my gosh. I keep finding drills that I put away already. But I like trail mix, but I don't like raisins. Raisins, to me, are, like, the grossest thing ever. And, I mean, I'm sure there's somebody out there going to be like, this is way grosser. Cool. But I don't like raisins. Raisins, I, I can't do raisins. And so many trail mixes have raisins in them. Sorry, I feel like I'm concentrating here. Um, there's like broken pieces of drill. Let's get you out of here. All right, let's put this container back because I don't need it. And I'm going to pull out like these ones because I'm going to need these. Yay for confetti. But I'm telling you guys, like all of this here is just little like shading. And that's just one little handful. I did one the other day and it was 20, 29 of the 38 colors just in one section. I was like, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Um, Thursday, we had a super chill day. We did absolutely nothing, which is what I needed, what we all needed. Of course, Briar's like, I want to do something. I want to do something fun. And I know that she's a kid and I'm an adult, but boy... Boy, do we need days sometimes to just recover from, like, doing stuff with her. 
And I know it's not just me. I know every parent has that. And fortunately for us, we have the capability to do that. Whereas I know not every parent does. Um, and it's nice because if there's like a day or time that I'm just like, I can't, I can't with her anymore. My husband can hang on to her and do stuff with her and I can go elsewhere. Um, Thursday, I did have a chiropractor appointment and it, I'm now my, I've graduated from my care plan, if you will. Now I'm just doing like maintenance stuff. And it's funny, I always end up wearing these like teal pants to the chiropractor's office because they're super comfortable and they're easy to like, when I do stretches, they're easier to move around in than like a pair of jeans. But I don't really want to be wearing leggings as pants unless like that's what I've chosen for the day. And the girl who runs the, the rehab stuff, she has figured out how to strap me onto the compression table so that the compression table isn't trying to steal my pants because I can't tell you how many times I get off the table and I'm like, well, I feel like my entire backside was just exposed to this table. Um, but I love the girls there. And, uh, my daughter calls it the doctor practor, which still makes me giggle. I've been having like these crazy weird, uh, muscle spasms and cramps. Um, like somewhere in my rib cage, one is under my jawline, which she actually adjusted under my jaw, which is very, very weird. And she's like, uh, you need to talk to your dentist because you are clearly grinding your teeth. And I was like, ah, oh, okay. She's like, that's why these muscles are the way they are. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, there's something else I have to put back onto my scheduler because I was supposed to get a tooth filled a ca cactus a cavity filled um and then the pandemic hit and i just wasn't comfortable having like someone all up in my mouth and then i just <laughs> used the excuse of well i'll call them and i'll i'll reschedule it and um that is yet to happen so but god i feel like i'm like digging out <sighs> trash it's like not even fun it's not, you know, like, somebody else's trash is my treasure, and this is, like, straight-up trash. Um, but anyway, so that was Thursday, and then Friday was Christmas Eve. Um, I want to give a huge thank you to Pippa Brown. If you guys haven't seen it, I will make sure to link it up in the eye for you. My husband and I, uh, were part of the... Crafting is for Christmas, Christmas premieres. If you don't know what that is, it's a playlist. And obviously they've all aired now, so you can watch them. Um, but they were all live premieres. And if you don't know what that is, the video was pre-recorded, but it premiered at a specific time. And our time was 7 a.m. my time. And what we would do is in, we could click the live chat button. The same way you can chat with somebody live while they are doing a live video this is just the pre-recorded video, but the live chat to go with it. It was absolutely fantastic. And I was shocked to see so many people in there for that time of day. Um, it was meant as a way to keep people company who are, you know, alone for the holidays or for whatever reason can't be with friends and family. Um, or as just a fun way while you're wrapping gifts, while you're preparing your meal, while you're doing pretty much anything. And it was two full days of different creators from all over the world just putting up their videos, interacting with their friends and, and new subscribers. And it was just a really wonderful way to spend the time and to, to learn about channels, you know, that maybe you didn't know before or creators you'd never heard of. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I know Pippa had no idea that she was getting both of us. Uh, but we knew this would probably be quite entertaining for the people at seven in the morning. So huge shout out to everyone who came and hung out with us. It was so much fun. I would love to do another one of these live premieres. Uh, if you guys have any interest in that, let me know. Uh, at least... The, the huge difference between going live and having a premiere is that I can get all of the material done and not have to worry about, 
you know, doing it while my kid's around. Whereas if I'm live, like, I cannot do it while my kid, it's like her waking and playing hours because she needs to be watched and, you know, not destroying my house. And of course, if it, my husband was downstairs and I was upstairs, that would be different, but I don't want to take time away to do that. Where is this drill? There we go. So don't tell me I lost the drill again. That's the worst. Does that happen to anyone else? You like pull out that whatever color it is that you need to work on or to fill in and then you can't find where it went. But anyway, so we, we had a really great time. I was super, super impressed with the amount of people that showed up. So if you were one of them or if you caught it on the replay, thank you guys so, so much. If you are watching the replay, you can still click that live button so you can see what people are talking about in the chat and it, it airs back in the real time of whatever it was being said in the video the same way it does for live videos. So, um, but I woke up at like 545 and I was like, oh man, if I go back to sleep now, am I going to sleep through my alarm or am I going to actually get up? And I wasn't sure. And I was like, you know what? The safe thing for me to do is to stay up. So I got myself a cup of coffee. Um, my husband literally rolled I would say out of bed but we never made it out of bed we sat in bed while we did the chat and then I look over our kiddo is wide awake in her room sitting at the the air vent um she likes to sit on the heater on the vent and uh she's funny she'll tell daddy she's like the heater blew my mind and I'm like okay okay kid um but we did that and it was super super fun and then we ran to the market which Going to the market on Christmas Eve is a terrible idea. This one woman's like, oh my gosh, I'm in such a hurry. Just like everyone else who's in here. And we were like, well, we're not really in a hurry. We just, we needed some fruit and we needed some produce for our, we were making tacos for dinner. It wasn't anything exciting. We weren't getting any like last minute things for our Christmas meal. And, uh, you know, but it was, it was a zoo, and now I know, like, unless we all have to go, it's probably better off to just send one person, um, and that doesn't include the baby, because, you know, she doesn't do really well in situations like that, where everything around her is rushed and frazzled, and, you know, what you would expect a supermarket to be like on Christmas Eve. <laughs> um, but it's amazing to me... Tell me if this is true for wherever you guys live. The simple concept of, oh, excuse me, seems to no longer exist. People will stand there and they will like huff and puff because you're in their way. But yet I don't know I'm in their way because I'm grabbing something from where they need to grab something. But they don't ever say, excuse me. So you don't know that they need something or like they'll push behind you and they'll knock into your cart. And instead of saying, oh, excuse me, so that you can move your cart over to let them through, they would rather just keep being frazzled and I, I don't understand it I don't know why we've gotten to that point um and I even said like very loudly on purpose in the the aisle man if people only said excuse me this would be a lot easier and I had like one old lady like whip around and look at me and it's it's true though like I'm you don't need to do anything other than say excuse me. And now I've taught that to my daughter because obviously I want her to not be a total a-hole. And so we'll walk and she'll see that we're going behind somebody. And she'll go, excuse me, excuse me. And they always get a kick out of it. But yet nobody ever does it themselves. Um, and I've noticed that a lot. Like when we go out, like even little things. Like one woman needed to be exactly where I was. And, like, how am I supposed to know that you need the same exact salsa that I need? But if she said, excuse me, I could take a step over. We could both look at the rack. Nope, she waited till I was gone to stand exactly where I was standing. And then her rump, because I guess I was taking too long for her. Um, but, yeah, so we had um, first watch for lunch, which I love first watch. That's, like, when we want, like, a, a breakfast or brunch kind of meal, that place totally hits the spot, like, every time. But a lot of times they don't deliver on the weekends. Um, so I was like, why don't we place, like, a pickup order and we can pick it up on the way home and then just go home, put the groceries away and eat. And that's exactly what we did. And 
I had a pecan roll. It was so, so good. Um, and then we had like a taco kit for dinner, which is one of the reasons why we went to go get the lettuce and tomatoes. Um, nothing makes me feel like my baby girl is growing up more than watching her eat an actual taco like an adult. She'll tilt it, you know, she knows how to hold it. Because for the longest time, she would eat it, take a bite, everything would fall at the bottom, and then she would cry because she broke her taco. And no matter how many times you tell her, like, tacos fall apart. Like, that's just the nature of the beast. Um, soft shell tacos fall apart. Hard shell tacos fall apart. Flour tortilla, corn tortilla, it does not matter. They all fall apart. Um, and actually, I have a dish towel that says tacos fall apart and we still love them. You know, because sometimes we fall apart. And, um, anyway, so, what was I going to say after that? Oh, we did that. And then my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law does not do Christmas with the rest of us. And my husband had gotten these lamps. They're called friendship lamps. They are super, super cool. They're touch-friendly lamps. My daughter has her set to pink. My mother-in-law has her set to blue. So anytime my daughter is thinking of my mother-in-law, she touches the lamp. The lamp lights up pink wherever my mother-in-law is. And then when my mother-in-law touch, um, it lights up pink where my mother-in-law is. And then when my mother-in-law touches it, Briar's lights up blue. Of course, like today, for example, Briar's like, I was touching the light over and over and over again. And I saw it turn blue four times. And then my mother-in-law text my husband and says something's wrong with this it doesn't turn off and we're like it's not that it's not turning off it's that she just keeps sending you messages and she's very excited about it but my husband went over there he took care of that got that all taken care of um he had to get into my mother-in-law's internet and he was like having like a hell of a time and at one point he's like the number one thing they recommend is to reset the router he's like i'm not going to reset the router because i know what will happen in four years my mother will call me and go remember that time you you reset the router yeah well now i can't get an email to send and blame it on him and he's 110 percent right but um we got that set up i think it's a super cool gift um we would love to get more of them we just wanted like, they're not cheap and we wanted to make sure that they worked and um the shipping is super fast. Yeah, it came super quick. We got it in a day. That's cool. Yeah. I wonder if it was because of the holidays that they, like, rushed them. I don't know. I mean... three-day shipping. Oh, was it? it in a day, yeah. Oh, okay. They ship from Jersey. So okay, so they only ship from one state over, so it wasn't too bad. But either way, we got it, and I think it's a super cool gift. And then on Christmas Day, we went over to my brother-in-law's, and... My brother-in-law and my sister-in-law, like, understand that, like, we come to spend the day with them, but we're not coming to celebrate Christmas, um, and they got her the sweetest, they look like Minnie Mouse Uggs, but they're little slippers, so that when she comes over the next time, she can come over, kick off her shoes, hang out in her little slippers, make some cookies with my sister-in-law, um, read a book by the fireplace. They also got her a book, which was the wonky donkey, which if you have never re read that, it is like a tongue twister from start to finish. It was so funny to listen to her <laughs> reading it to Briar. Um, but we gave the kids, Brian's niece and nephews are both teenagers. Um, and I have been around since the younger one was like two and it just, it's really nice to just go and spend time. The older one is in college out of state, so we don't see her very often. And we went, we had a really good meal. Um, she made like big beef ribs. Uh, they were so good. Briar ate almost an entire one and like they were big. Um, of course I somehow ended up with, like, the fattiest one that ever could possibly exist. And I am not one of those people that does well with, like, fatty meat. Um, my husband is fine with it. But I'm like, no thanks. Um, but they were delicious. They were so good. And it's funny because, like, my father-in-law wasn't there. And he was supposed to be there. And my brother-in-law's like, I bet you he forgot and doesn't realize today's Christmas. Well, he called him. One of the cows got out. So he's out there wrangling this, like you know, ton animal. And like, I was talking to my mom about it and she's like, 
oh, you know, and I'm like, mom, you have to understand, like, a cow's like two, three thousand pounds, what is he supposed to do, just sweet talk it back into the pen, like, it's not an easy task to get one of these giant animals back in, he showed up, it was just a really lovely time, um, there was a lot of sitting around and doing nothing, which is not great for a four-year-old, so my husband took her for a walk, they really, um, Briar really loves decorations, like the inflatables, the the lights were up on a lot of houses, but it wasn't dark out, so she didn't get to see a lot of them. But it was just really, it was a really wonderful time. Um, I mean, we had a football carry her out there because she was, like, well past her limit by the time we left. And, um, you know, of course, my, my brother-in-law said something. My husband was like, yeah, I remember those days. You know, a lot of parents forget how hard it really is, but every to every toddler is like that. Um, is she like that all the time? No, but that's not, like, bad behavior, atypical behavior. That's just a child who's past <laughs> her limits and totally exhausted. And my mother-in-law had given her, um, my husband brought it home after he did the lamp, a stuffed animal that has a slap bracelet for arms. And if you remember the big slap bracelets in, like, the 80s and 90s, uh, she thinks there's something wrong with it when the arms are not outright. So, we brought it home. She wanted to sleep with it. Well, she didn't have it in the car. Made my husband go back into my brother-in-law's house to get it because, you know, God forbid, she doesn't have one toy and then he brought it, and she freaked out because the arms to her were broken. So we had to keep fixing them and telling her every time you hug it, it's going to curl back in like this. And she's like, no, it's broken. And I'm like, it is not broken. I hope that nobody else's timer just got started. But if they did, um, I'll see you in less than 14 minutes. And just let me know in the description or in the comments. Did that set your alarm off? Um, so we got home and then my husband put her to bed and she immediately started crying because the giraffe was broken and she needed the arms fixed. And I'm like, Oh my God. So, uh, you know, the best of intentions, who knew the slap bracelet part of a toy was going to be the thing to set my kid off, but it was that, sorry, I was trying to get a drill off of my finger and into the trash and I think it just fell onto the table but I think this is where I'm going to bid you all farewell um thank you guys for hanging out I hope that you guys had a wonderful Christmas if you celebrated it um and if you didn't celebrate it again I hope you just had a an amazing weekend I will be posting this video during my normal um when I normally post my whipping chat videos. Uh, but keep your eyes peeled because every day leading up to the event, there will also be an Alice in Wonderland diamond painting unboxing video. So there will be lots and lots of goodies there for you guys to see. Um, don't forget, I will leave in the description down below the sign up Google Doc for Alice in a Winter Wonderland. You guys, I am so excited. We are a week away. We are less than a week away now. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, so stay tuned for that, because I'm sure I'll be asking for your advice. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more content like this, or, you know, nothing like this at all, please make sure to give this video two thumbs up! One real life, one virtual. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Come, join the Sparkle Squad. And while you're there, hit that notification bell. Dang. I do not operate on any sort of schedule. I operate on toddler standard time, and I record all my tiny human is sleeping or sleeping. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys! Mm -hmm.